What's going on everybody? Hey, so today I want to talk to you about whether or not you should go in for the kiss at the end of a first date. So there you are. You have just finished up a date with somebody that you've either met in person or met online or potentially this is a blind date and you've been set up here by somebody. Now, whether or not you go in for the first kiss is actually not quite as straightforward as you might think. So I am going to tell you what my personal experience is. And if you guys watch until the end of the video, you guys will be able to determine whether or not you are in the position to go for the first kiss. So let's just say you just wrapped up a first date and it was just a mediocre time. The conversation was okay. You guys had some banter, but you know, you're not feeling overall super inclined about this person that you've met. In that scenario, you should not feel any obligation as a man to go in for the first kiss. I mean, if you don't see this going anywhere, don't go in for the kiss which gives off and implies that you are expressing your romantic interest in the person that you're out with. So just because you went on a first date does not mean that you absolutely as a man have to go in for the first kiss. However, if you just wrapped up a date and you had an amazing time, then you might actually want to consider going in for the kiss if you find yourself in the position to do that. And if the person that you are with is showing the signs that they are ready to be kissed. So those would be things like flirting, you know, heavy petting. You guys are standing really, really close together. She's looking into your eyes. She's looking down at your lips. She's looking back up into your eyes. Those are typical signs that a woman is ready to be kissed. In those situations, you can absolutely go for the kiss as a man. Most women are not going to be that direct with you and going for the kiss. Although I have been out with many women who have actually gone in for the kiss and taken me off guard because I'm sitting trying to debate whether I want to go in for the kiss or not. And they've gone ahead, taken the initiative. So that just shows the society that we live in. Women are willing to take the lead if they feel inclined enough that they want to actually kiss you. But here is what I actually suggest. If you had a great date, and typically I would have said you always as a man go in for the kiss. You always do it 100% of the time. You leave no doubt in their mind that you are a man who knows how to take charge and get what they want. Expressing your sexual interest in somebody is something 100% natural. It shouldn't make you feel uncomfortable because this is what people do when they like each other. But my new recommendation for going in for the first kiss, even if you had a great first date, is to resist the temptation. Now, I am going to tell you why I feel as though this is the best method and to actually save the first kiss for either your second, you know, actually, I wouldn't wait any longer than the second date, but that's besides the point. And this is why you don't want to go in for the first case, the kiss, the first date, especially if you had great chemistry. So by not going in for the first kiss, you are actually going to make a woman very unsure where she stands with you. She's going to have all of these emotions that have been built up throughout the date that have been driving this sexual energy inside of her where she's probably expecting to be kissed at the end of the first date. But by not kissing her at the end of the first date, you are going to stand out by expressing that you're still kind of undecided on her. 
You're not so sure. You're not e so easily won over that you need to, to feel the need to just jump into expressing your sexual interest. You know that if she has a high enough sexual interest in you, that you'll absolutely get together with out question and have a second date and you will be presented with another opportunity to make the first move. So rather than go in for that kiss, you hold back and you be patient and you express that, you know, I'm still making up my mind on you. I'm not really too sure. So you know what? You need to work, put in a little bit more work if you want to win me over. And that is, to me, a lot of like playing a game of poker. And if you're familiar with the game of poker, you don't want anybody else to see your cards and to know where you know you are you are sitting position wise because that would give them the competitive advantage. So you keep your cards close to your chest. You don't expose what they are which puts you in the stronger, more dominant alpha position. And that is actually one where you want to be as a man when you are dating with women, because women know that they can again walk out of their house and just trip on the dicks that are lining up for them, you guys. They know this to be true. They know that if your date doesn't go well, that they can go to their inbox or they can go to their direct message or their online dating profile where they've got literally hundreds of guys getting in line to try to attract them sexually. So you are going to be different. You're not going to go in for the first date. This is going to drive her crazy. It's going to make her think about you. Well, why didn't he kiss me? What did he want? And then she's going to start chasing you. And that is what you want. You want her to be chasing your attention and your validation, which puts you in the position to lead the relationship where you want it to go as a man, which is your job as a man in a relationship. Women don't want to be with another woman. That's why they choose to be with a man. So... If you just had a great first date, resist all temptation to go in for that first kiss. And then if you guys have a second date, make sure you don't wait any longer than the second date. You want to make your intentions clear. There's no reason to hold things off. I am not about game playing. I'm not about leading people on. But in this dating game, you guys... Women have the competitive advantage right now because of how many suitors are lined up to nail them down. So make sure that you guys are stepping up your dating game. If you want to start dating more highly attractive and quality women. So have you guys just gotten done with a first date? Did you go in for the kiss? How did it work for you? Did you just get done with a date and not go in for the first kiss? Maybe the girl is calling you or texting you or trying to pin you down for another date because she doesn't know where you stand with she, where she stands with you. Let me know in the comments below. But if you guys are having a problem or challenge in your personal or professional life, I'd love to hear from you. Head on over to my website at balancealpha.com and sign up for whatever coaching session works best for you. And until then, I will see you guys next time.